haven't heard about Anchor or about Spotify, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. So download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Signs before your breakthrough. Yes, signs before your breakthrough. And I mean things that you may see, things that may happen before your breakthrough, before God gives you a blessing, you know, your breakthrough. Yes, God will test you to see if you're ready for the breakthrough. Yeah, that's one of the signs. God will test you to see if you're ready for that breakthrough. You know, trials and tribulations that come your way. He'll let you go through many, many tests to see if you're ready for that breakthrough. He tested Abraham and asked him to kill his son, Isaac. In the Bible, y'all. Y'all know Abraham. Those of y'all who know Abraham in the Bible. Those who don't. Abraham placed his son, Isaac on an altar y'all for sacrifice he was going to sacrifice him to God he raised that knife up and was about to kill him you know but God didn't let that happen he didn't let him kill Isaac God provided a ram in the bush y'all after he saw that Abraham was about to kill his son like he asked him to so God provided a ram in the bush for Abraham to kill and sacrifice. So Abraham was obedient. And God liked that. Abraham passed that test. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah, read read Genesis 22, y'all. About Abraham being tested. So we're going to be tested too. Abraham was tested. We're going to be tested as well. You know? Yeah. Before your breakthrough, signs, y'all. So, another sign, let me see. Another sign. Another sign indicating your upcoming breakthrough is feeling as though your prayers are going unheard. Yeah. That's another sign. You feel like your prayers are not even being heard by God. Like, God don't even hear you. Like, you crying out to the Lord. Like, Lord, why you ain't answering me? What's going on? You must don't hear my prayers no more. I'm, I'm telling you what I know because I, that's what I feel like sometimes. I be like, Lord, I know I know I'm know, i not perfect, Lord, but, but, but you know I'm trying to walk in the will of God. I'm trying to walk in your will, Lord God. I'm trying to do what you asked me to do wholeheartedly. But it seemed like you're not even hearing none of my prayers no more. It's like... I don't understand what's going on. But that's signs before your breakthrough, y'all. Yeah, signs before your breakthrough. God may not answer your prayers right then no more. As fast as he was answering them, okay? It's going to be a delay. It's going to feel like you in it by yourself. It's going to feel like his hands off you. Okay? You may feel that God is silent and not listening to your prayers. No matter how hard you pray, no matter how much you fast and pray and cry out to God, he may be testing your faith and your patience before blessing you, okay? So don't throw in the towel. Don't give up. Press on. Run that race. Fight that good fight. Another sign before your breakthrough, y'all indicating your breakthrough is coming you may have been experiencing many many challenges yeah one after another back to back trials 
tribulations, a lot of stuff going on back to back. Stuff that you like, Lord, where all this stuff coming from? And I know I'm trying to live for you, Father. Your breakthrough is coming, baby. So look for indications like that. Look for indications, y'all, like consistent problems that seem to stop you from moving forward or reaching your goals. Yeah. Right here in Romans, fifth chapter, three through five verses. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance, character, and character, hope. Now, hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Oh yeah. So y'all just believe what I tell you. I'm telling you because I go through it too. I done been through it. I'm going through it right now. And I'm like, Lord, I know. I thought you said you don't put no more on me than I can bear, Papa. I said, but it feel like I can bear. This is too much for me to bear. And sometimes I be wanting to throw in the towel, y'all. But I know what I'm what I'm believing and praying and hoping and waiting for. I can't just let that go. I can't let the enemy steal that. I can't let the enemy have that for, and take that from me. Cause I know what God has for me is for me. And I know that I'm here to do the will of God on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. So before your breakthrough, y'all, these are the signs. And they have many, many more, but I just named a few that I know of, stuff that I've been going through. So don't throw in the towel, y'all. Don't give up. Keep believing on what God says. His word don't return back void. He is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and will he not do? Has he spoken, and will he not make good? Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it so the Father may be glorified in the Son. Yeah, y'all, we can't walk together. It, Amos, Amos 3, 3. Um, can two walk together unless they agree on the direction? Yeah, you don't agree on the direction of the enemy. So you can rebuke and bind the enemy. God said, whatever you bind on earth, I bind in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth, I loose in heaven. You, you, you rebuke and bind the enemy from coming into your life trying to take whatever God has for you for you. You rebuke that and bind it in Jesus' name. And you loose. God give you perseverance. God don't give you the spirit of fear. God give you the power of love. Love, power, love, and sound mind. Love, power, sound mind, and self control. Loose that. Loose that. God said that vengeance is mine, said the Lord. God said he'll fight your battles for you. God said when you're weak, that he is strong. He's made strong. So you loose all of that in your life before your breakthrough, y'all. These are signs before your breakthrough. Just know God will test you to see if that you're ready for the breakthrough because he don't want give to give it to you too early or too soon. Because you'll lose it prematurely, you know? You'll lose it prematurely. You don't want to um, lose it prematurely. You want to have a, a, um, a full birth all the way through. You want your birth to be all the way through, all the way from beginning to ending, you know? To have a healthy, a healthy blessing of a breakthrough so you can be a blessing to others. So learn what you need to learn during this time of testing. Because the Lord is testing us, y'all. I say us because he is, is, I'm going through it too. So, may the Lord give you an ear to hear and a heart to receive the word of God, whoever this word is for. Anything that's not of you, Lord, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus and bind it. Father, now welcome the Holy Spirit to fill this place. Oh, yeah. So, if you don't know the Lord, and you want to get to know him, want to give your life to God. I had a prayer of salvation. I'm going to say you repeat it after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Known, unknown, thought, deed, and word. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I ask you to come into my heart and my life. Lord God, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. So, y'all, if you say that, welcome, 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 family. Now you need to go to a church. Let the Holy Spirit lead you to a church if you don't have one already. Or if you know some friends that have a church, pray and ask the Lord, do you need to go to that church here? Direct your path. But you need to get filled. You need to get to a Holy Ghost Spirit filled. God-fearing church. 
Bible reading church. So you can follow along word for word in the Bible, y'all. Get water baptized. When you get submerged under that water, fully submerged, when you die, lie up under that water, the old man is going to die. The old way of thinking, acting, believing, die up under that water. And when you rise about that water, y'all, you'll be a new creation in Christ. Old things have passed. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yeah, in Jesus' name. So, y'all, share this um, podcast with your friends and your family for me so they can get this word of God in their spirit. And also check out the um, Ambassador for Christ on YouTube. Check out my videos on YouTube so you can get this word in your spirit. I have many, many, many videos on there with the word of God, y'all. Spreading the gospel. The gospel. To all who have an ear to hear and a heart to receive the word of God. So until the Lord, the Holy Spirit quickens my spirit to say something else. (laughs) May the Lord bless you, keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. In Jesus' name, y'all, blessings on top of blessings to all.